Following India's narrow test series lost to South Africa earlier this week, Virat Kohli on Saturday announced his resignation from test cricket, re reacting to Kohli's decision to step down as test captain. BCCI President Saurabh Ganguly said the 33-year-old's decision to step down is a personal one, adding that both respects Kohli's decision. Ganguly also lauded Kohli and said under Virat's leadership, Indian cricket has made rapid strides in all formats. However, when India today questioned Ganguly about resignation, he evaded the question. Kohli's longtime deputy Rohit Sharma said that he was shocked about this decision. Position. Indian opener Rohit Sharma also congratulated Virat Kohli on his successful stint as Indian Test captain for seven years. We respect his decision. I mean, he decided to, you know, quit the test captaincy. So we respect his decision because we should respect, you know, whatever a player thinks. So that's why we respect that. And uh, his contribution to Indian cricket has been immense. And as a test captain, he got us maximum number of victories. So that way, if you see that he was the most successful captain. So we all respect for that. And uh, I hope and I think that he will continue to, you know, contribute as a player in Team India. Virat Kohli dropped a bombshell and announced his decision of stepping down as India's test team captain. Former Indian skipper took to social media, said everything comes to a halt sometimes. Test captaincy for me halts now. Virat's decision of quitting his test captaincy comes a day after India lost the test series to South Africa. Here's a report. Millions of fans in disbelief. Virat Kohli, in a surprise move, has stepped down as India's test team captain. Former Indian skipper took to social media and announced his decision to let go of the red ball captaincy. In his emotional note, Virat said, It's been seven years of hard work, toil and relentless perseverance to take the team in the right direction. Kohli added, I have done the job with absolute honour and left nothing out there. He asserted, everything has come to a halt at some stage and for me as Test Captain of India. In the post, Virat thanked Ravi Shastri and MS Dhoni for their unconditional support and belief in him. Virat's decision of quitting Test Captaincy comes a day after India failed to conquer the final frontier and South Africa clinched the series 2-1. Yeah, talked often about how good he was when he first came to New Zealand as a genuine swing bowler. Kohli's performance as test captain is quite remarkable. He is one of India's most successful test captains. Under Kohli's captaincy, India has played 68 test matches and won 40 of them. The winning percentage stands at 60% approximate. Within a few months, Virat has stepped down as the captain of ODI, T20 and now Red Ball Cricket. Virat has been at loggerheads with the BCCI for several months. In an explosive press conference last month, Kohli revealed that he wasn't asked to reconsider his decision to give up the T20 captaincy. The RCB star, in a way, contradicted Ganguly's statement on T20 captaincy. The BCCI chief said he asked Kohli not to quit as captain. Right after Kohli's statement, Ganguly refused to make any statement on the saga and said, leave it to BCCI. With Virat quitting the test captaincy, one thing is for sure. The test team will be going under a major transformation. Is it time to appoint a young blood as the test captain or go with a safer option? and choose a senior to lead the team. Bureau Report, India Today. In 2019, India Today spoke exclusively to Virat Kohli. Here's what he said and how he survived World Cup failure. Listen in. Virat, World Cup. I mean, there was such a huge build-up. And you were in such good space. India had played extraordinary cricket. One bad day, 30 minutes of bad, whatever. How do you deal with failure? Because, you know, the whole country goes bonkers and you're trolled and you said a lot of things and it hurts. 
we were all there. We were all feeling pain. I mean, no one can feel the pain more than you as captain of the Indian cricket team. How do you deal with failure? It's not easy. Uh, I mean, uh, if, if you ask me, do I get affected by failure? Yes, I do. Everyone does. I'm human at the end of the day. Um, so it's, it's difficult to process uh, failure at such a big stage. But also you have to understand that, you know, I, I totally believe in the fact that what's meant to be for you will happen. We were working as hard as we could. So was New Zealand. I mean, it's, it's not like they were just having a stroll in the park and they won. You know, they reached the finals because they were meant to, they were destined to. And so was England. Maybe England was even destined, you, you saw how the final went. You can never predict a match like that. Correct. So how can you say that this, that wasn't meant to happen? You know, it was a back of the bat um, boundary and Ben himself is feeling sorry about it. It was God sent. I mean, you can't sit down and have any logic or any explanation to that. So it is because we play a sport where we feel like we are involved every ball and you are responsible to make something happen. So even failure and success, you start looking like we failed because of me or, you know, I made success uh, happen. So I think somewhere or the other we need to understand that all we can do is work hard and put in our best effort. As long as your intent is right, your heart is in the right place and you're going along the right path and you're doing things with the, with the right intent, that's all you can do. Because no one, as you said, no one wants to go out there and fail or not succeed or you know, have moments like this. No one wants to do that. No one wants to experience that. But... But success and failure is a part of everything that we do in life, whether it's sport, whether it's, you know, in, in daily life, whether you lose someone close to you, whether, you know, it's, it's a problem in your job, anything. It is the truth of life and you need to be able to accept both with grace. That's, that's the thing that I've learned. You can't go gung-ho when you succeed. You can't say, oh, I'm, I'm the king of the world or, you know, we are invincible now and when you fail, you can't beat yourself down so much that you can't get up again. So I think you need to feel the hurt. You need to feel where could I have done things differently. I think failure is a great way or a great opportunity to analyze what went wrong and to improve on those mistakes. Because at the end of the day, cricket is all about that. When you make a mistake while batting, you want to improve it the next time you walk out to play. Or if you play a false shot and you haven't gotten out, you want to improve it the next ball. Mm -hmm. And similarly for bowlers and fielders, you make a mistake, you feel really bad about it, but then you catch one and then you feel like, okay, I've corrected my mistake. And I think life is all about that. It's, it's about making mistakes on a regular basis, but having the courage and the acceptance and the clarity to say, okay, I have made a mistake. I'm not going to be egoistic about it. I'm going to lay it down understand what happened, improve on it and walk forward. Because as you said, you know, people say things, people attack you. If you start focusing on that, you cannot progress because those are opinions. Those are, um, you know, things that are happening on the outside. Um, you know what opinion you hold, you know the intent you played with and you need to be true to that. So the most, the biggest challenge I felt was being true to your own beliefs. Who will replace Captain Kohli? Who are the front runners in the fray at the moment? Rohit Sharma, number one in contention, current uh, one-day international and T20 captain. Uh, the second one in contention in the top spot is KL Rahul, also to lead India against South Africa in one-day international. Then we've got contender number three as well, Jaspreet Bamra, vice captain for South Africa one-day international series. These are the three top contenders in the fray. So all eyes on these three now. The decision that left millions of fans stunned. Soon after Virat Kohli announced that he will step down as the captain of the test squad, former cricketer Sunil Gavaskar said that unlike others, he wasn't too surprised with the announcement and even picked his choice of captain to take over from Kohli. Listen into the excerpts of this exclusive interview. I uh, just wanted to know, Saiva, in terms of now you'd have to look for a new new test captain. Who do you see uh, as your new test captain? I mean, I'm just talking like an Indian cricket fan. Uh, we saw uh, KL Rahul uh, captaining for that one-off test match. Of course, uh, there were a few questionable, uh, you know, sort of tactical decisions that he took. Of course, he'll be a work in progress. Uh, Rohit Sharma, the other experienced guy you can look at, has had some sort of fitness uh, issues. Ajinkya Rahane, the other option you had, now doesn't uh, guarantee himself a place in the playing eleven. So, are you seeing uncertain times or, or even the young captain that you get may take a few years to really, you know, uh, 
get adjusted to that particular role? How do you see that leadership going forward from here on? It's going to be it's going to be quite quite uh, a debate as far as the selection committee is concerned as to who who should be the person who should be uh, taking Indian cricket forward. First and foremost, you look at somebody who's going to be uh, available uh, and 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 is is amongst the first picks. Uh, an automatic selection in all three formats of the game, and uh, once uh, once that happens, uh, then uh, I think the job becomes uh, a, a lot easier. Uh, if you ask me, uh, you haven't asked me, but I'm I'm still saying I would look I at Rishabh Pant as the next India captain, and for one reason only, just like when Rohit Sharma was given the uh, captaincy of Mumbai Indians, um, when Ponting stepped down and uh, Rohit Sharma was made the captain. Look at the change in his batting after that. Suddenly, the the responsibility of being a captain meant that instead of playing those beautiful cameos of 30s, 40s, 60s, he was scoring hundreds, 150s, 200s. And I think that sense of responsibility given to Rishabh Pant will make him score many more of those wonderful hundreds uh, that we saw, like the wonderful hundred we saw at the Newlands uh, a couple of days back. Uh, Mr. Gavaskar, you're, Mr. Gavaskar, you're making, Mr. Gavaskar, you're making a huge point there. You're claiming that Rishabh Pant, at the age of 24, wicketkeeper batsman, is ready to be the next India captain already. Yes, I'm saying that. I'm saying that uh, Tiger Pathodi was captain at the age of 21 uh, under under adverse circumstances when uh, uh, Mr. Nari Contractor got uh, badly injured. Uh, uh, but look what he did. Uh, uh, he took to it uh, like a duck takes to water. And similarly, I think uh, uh, what we've seen with Rishabh Pant uh, in his, uh, in his uh, time as the captain of the Delhi uh, uh, um, Daredevils in the, in the IPL, I do believe that he has the capability uh, of uh, you know, taking Indian cricket forward and making it uh, a very exciting team to watch.